Hi guys, so this is going to be one of my first kind of tutorial videos um, as far as this YouTube channel goes. Um, basically, all I'm doing today, I'm just in my garage, or should I say I'm in my granddad's garage, um, just painting some bits up on, painting some bits up for the E36 Drifter, which you can't see at the minute, it's at the top of the drive, but decided to purchase a bash bar for the back as you can see there there's a bash bar i did get this from a guy on facebook um it would in fact send it off to be powder coated so well i sent it to the powder coaters to be blasted so there's the blasted thing metal thing whatever um so all i'm doing now is putting a coat of primer on it now all I'm using all I'm using is just this cheap etch primer so you can get that from any sort of any sort of store um, I've used it for years it does the trick yeah so my car is like a Nardo grey colour I've just resprayed it in uh, in what was in what I was told it was meant to be a dark Nardo grey turned out it's a little bit would you say lighter or darker? It's a little bit lighter than uh, primer. It's like a primer sort of colour, but it's a little bit lighter. So all I've done, I'll show you really quick. I mean, I have primed it already, but give them a good shake. Give your cans a shake. Don't do it down here though, because it looks wrong. But um, I'll probably put in some pictures of my BMW now so I'll put in some before um, some before pictures before I painted it and some after pictures bearing in mind the spray job that I've done on the car did it myself in a friend's garage and the job itself cost me 170 pound but I will show you now what I'm doing with the primer and the bash bar so yeah, this is all I'm doing. Now it's a good thing not to leave your can spraying in one place too long. Because you get runs in your paint, so less is more kind of thing. So you're just building your layers up as you go. But I don't want to put too much primer on it because you, you, you're not really going to see it anyway because this sits behind the back bumper it's basically got a, a jacking plate on it so you can lift your car up at the track without having to climb underneath your car and roll the trolley jack under your diff and it's just a ball ache so I got this off of a friend didn't really pay that much for it but It'll do trick, so this is all I'm doing, putting a bit of primer on here and there, making sure all welds are covered and, I mean these bits don't really matter about them because it's, you're not going to see them, but I'll uh, get back to you when I, when that's dry and I'll put a bit of, um, I'll put a bit of anthracite grey on there, see in a bit. All I'm doing now, the primer's still drying, uh, the primer not fully dried yet, all I'm doing is just making sure, checking it that there's no sort of imperfections in it, not like it's going to matter that much anyway because it's, you're not going to see it. But I'm just going to give it a spin around like this and just check everything, but normally what you do is after you, whenever you're painting something, you paint it with your etch primer, you let your primer harden off under the heat lamp or whatever nearly knocked myself out with it but what you normally do is once you've painted your primer on there you leave that to dry you bake it on you can then rub it down with uh, 600 wet and dry basically smooths out the primer makes your top coat look 
a lot more professional. Yeah, so you primer it, leave that to dry, flat it down with 600 wet and dry, dry it off, makes the primer really smooth. Although I have done a rookie error, I haven't test fitted it yet. So, I should really have test fitted it before I did any of this sort of stuff. And I don't know why, but I just keep wanting to look at myself in my phone. Because yes, I am using my phone because I'm too poor and I can't afford a decent camera. And the camera that I do have um, doesn't autofocus very well, so I'm trying to get myself a, de a decent camera to start vlogging on because I do intend to do these videos pretty often because as it stands at the minute my BMW is very poorly, it's got a 1.8 engine or a 1.9 which I believe is the M44 engine so it's nearly dead so I have just purchased another engine for it so this weekend I should be taking out or even then tomorrow I'll be taking out my engine, my standard engine and swapping it for another one. So I want to really document that so it gives other people that are trying to figure out how engine conversions are done some sort of look into it. I mean I'm I'm a novice, I don't know anything about it. All I know is that it's as simple as disconnecting the wiring, taking the prop shaft off, disconnecting the exhaust, uh, dropping the gearbox, or better still, I'll probably end up removing the engine. I'll probably end up removing the standard engine with the gearbox already attached. So then that way I can just put the car on I can put the car on axle stands so it's up in the air already. Take the front end of the car off so the headlights, bash bar, um, front bumper, that sort of stuff. And then it's as simple oh, I can't get a bad back. And then it's as simple as connecting the engine on, lifting it out, dropping the new one in. You do have to change some parts of the prop shaft, I do believe. You've got to use the front half of the prop shaft and use the back section off of the compact, because my BMW is a compact, and not a lot of people like compacts, but I do, so yeah, that's that. Argument over. But anyway, I'm going to let this dry, and then we'll see what happens from there. Ciao for now. I've just been having a think, and while we're on the subject of painting things and doing little projects like this, uh, what do you guys think of stuff like that? Thoughts on that? Or is this one? Not the prettiest of worlds, but it'll do. For anybody wanting to know where this where this jacking bar is from, it's from Wizards of Lock. You can find them on Facebook. I do highly recommend their products. They are really good and fairly priced. So I'll probably leave a link to their Facebook page in the video description. So you'll know where to purchase these bad boys from. I'm not sure if they come as a kit and you have to weld them together yourself. And if you do, it's not that difficult. I mean, as long as you've got a welder, you should get along just fine with it. But there's the emblem on the top, Wizards of Lock. Still waiting for this primer to dry, because I don't have a heat gun. I've got all these boxes full of paint and stuff. And my heat gun has decided to broke. Broke? Break? Yes, that's the word. My heat gun has broken. But I think I'm going to put on my little, my little baking lamp just to warm it up a little bit more so we should be able to start painting soon. Right guys, I don't know how much left of this video I'm going to be able to film because my phone is nearly flat. But I have got my heat lamp on and it's been baking for about 10 minutes now. I know it's not the ideal situation to be baking with a lamp that far away but it's all I can use at the minute so I'm just going to put some paint on it now if, if the video cuts off for whatever reason I will upload photos um, once it's done but if you want any sort of information smash that like button at the end of the day this is free I'm bringing you some okay-ish content it's not going to cost you anything but I'm more than happy to help if you need 
um, a few pointers here and there. Oh, it's back again, look. But yeah, uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you can. It'll help me out quite a lot. Uh, this channel is going to be mainly based on um, filming stuff like this, painting, painting car parts, bumpers, bonnets, whatever, engine conversions, and drifting, because I do go drifting at Teesside. I've got an event coming up on the 11th of February and I will be filming it. Hopefully by then I should have my uh, new engine in that we discussed already. But I'm going to try and film as much as I can without my phone dying. So um, I'll put it back on again when I start spraying the grey. So like I said, with anything, when you're painting it, you need to make sure you shake it if you can. It just gets the paint to the limit. Remember as well, we're painting less is more, so the less coats you put on, the better it's going to be. So you want to start off with like a really thin dust, dust coat, as we call it, and then you build your layers up from there. So you do a really light dust coat, and then you go a little bit heavier, and then your last coat you want to do a little bit heavier than the second, but not to the point of it running. But I will find the best. Is starting to react in a few little places but like I said it, it don't matter it's a bash bar I'll probably scratch it putting it on the car but there's a few little reaction marks but nothing major um, so I'm just gonna blather it on see how we get on then guys that's the second coat I think I'm actually gonna leave it at that for now because it has uh, got a little reaction just there so the paints reacted so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it to dry overnight come back to it tomorrow rub that down degrease it all properly just to get rid of it but that's what I mean it's uh, it's so easy to make little mistakes like that but that's just purely because I've just been lazy and didn't degrease it but I have done it like a metallic grey um, anthracite grey is the colour that I've done it so I'll come back tomorrow rub it down it's just that bit it's just that part see if I can get, get it swinging about all over stay still there so it's just reacted a little bit um, I'm not too bothered about it but just to make it look the part the rest of it's come out fine but yeah like I said I'll come back down tomorrow I'll flat it down because I can't I can't sand it now it's too wet oh there's a little bit there as well it's wet at the minute so I'll come down and sort it out so I'll probably pick this video up tomorrow once it's all um, once I've got a full battery on my phone and I've flattened it down and painting it again a few little bits that I can't get to but yeah, I'll, be, I'll pick this video back up tomorrow. so this is day number two of painting the bash bar I know I said that I would carry this on from the day after so you saw what I did yesterday or what should have been yesterday but it's actually been probably another few days since that, that last clip of the video 
so today I've decided I've just just been having a look at it now and I think I'm gonna leave it as it is um, mainly because it's too cold to be painting really in this like in this garage because there's no heat in here whatsoever so I'm gonna leave it as it is I'm gonna put it on at the weekend so I'll probably do a how-to video on that but I've got good news my new engine has arrived so I'm gonna start taking it out of the the shrink wrap and just start cleaning everything up um, my car's coming off of the road tomorrow so I'll probably start another video um, on that one after this last clip now but yeah 325 engine going in my compact that you still haven't seen yet I don't think you've seen it anyway um, I'm going to start opening this up now um, I've got my gloves and my Stanley knife so yeah I'm going to leave this video here for the bash bar I'm just going to leave it as it is because I can't be asked and like I said it's too cold so that's it for this one guys make sure to like the video and leave any comments in the description down below um, and make sure you subscribe as well because it helps me out quite a lot um, I hope you like what you've been watching painting this thing up eh, didn't come out too bad but like I said if you want to watch any uh, how to videos leave a comment down below the videos are free and I'm just doing this because why not fancy having my own YouTube channel so this is basically that yeah so I'm just seeing how seeing how it goes from here so Thanks for watching guys, peace.